Vandalism. Graffiti. Yarra Council will vote tonight on whether it will wind back its graffiti removal program and allow private companies to run what they call graffiti tours. Now, local people, businesses and, and private, say that it'll be a green light to vandals, and you can see what they mean. However, there's another side to it. Graffiti artists say they are artists, not vandals. Is graffiti ever art? Should it ever be tolerated? I've been sent some weird pictures where it is being tolerated. Some down the Western Port area. We'll get to that in a moment. On the lines, a man who makes a full-time living out of the area uh, from a Graffiti Mural, Chuck Mayfield. Good morning. Hi, Neil. How are you? I'm OK. What do you do? Um, I paint murals for people, uh, mostly for businesses and for private residents, so in people's homes. OK. And do they look like graffiti? Um, some of them do, yeah. Uh, I guess it's um, the the classification of, of graffiti, I guess, um, is probably more referred to as the, the type of lettering and uh, the tags and that sort of thing that you see in the public space, right? Yeah. So what's the difference between graffiti and what you do? Um, well, graffiti is actually just one... It, it's an art form of its own. Um, and so... Uh, what, what I do for work sometimes incorporates graffiti art. So graffiti art is, is the lettering and, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's based on letters which comes from hip-hop culture and that is a specific type of art. So um, when you talk about graffiti, that's the type of graffiti I guess I would refer to. Mm. Have you ever been into graffiti? Yeah, that's how I started. Um, when I was, when yeah. I was a teenager, I was... I was uh, I had some trouble. I was a bit of a troubled teenager, and um, I started, as a lot of kids do, by tagging illegally. And uh, I got caught for it when I was a teenager as well, which um, changed my view on it a bit. But um, I was already very much into art. How long did you do it for? Um, well, I still do it now, not illegally, of course. Um, I did it for a couple of years illegally before I got caught. Isn't that... And, um, Sorry, go yeah. on. Isn't that the big difference? Whether you know, it, it's one thing to go as you do with your murals to go and paint anything if agreed on uh, on somebody's building if they ask for it. It's something yeah. entirely different to do it illegally. Yeah, that's true, and I think that's the the premise of this this question because it's constantly coming up as, as a graffiti artist, and that is that um, art and vandalism are two different things. So there's always this question: Is graffiti art? And and it's as though if, if you decide that it's not, then it takes away the merit of people who do it. So graffiti is definitely an art form, but to... But I, hang on, I'm, I, would like paint, to, I would like to take away the, the merit for the people who do it. I would like to dissuade them from doing it. So if, well, if calling it garbage rather than art helps, wouldn't, shouldn't I do that? No, no, well, this is the thing. It's all about perspective, and that's why there's so much confusion about it. Graffiti is an art form, but vandalism is is when you paint something on someone's property that you haven't had permission to do. Yeah. So people are doing both. People are putting art on someone's property illegally. So it's not that it's not an art form, but it's that there's no permission. You know. So um, so that that's the vandalism aspect of it. And people get these things confused, and then when they see the art form, they go, "Oh, that's vandalism. That's a horrible thing because it's so much uh, connected to the illegal application of of the art form." Mm. So. One of the things I find about it is that every everyone who does this has their own um, balance <clears throat> of art and crime. So there's, there's a criminal aspect to it, which is the vandalism, but there's very much an art aspect. So there are people who do graffiti art who are complete art nerds, <clears throat> and all they do is paint walls legally, and, and they do canvases and, and paint in their, and draw in their books. But are you saying, then, are you also saying somebody who, who does it illegally is an art? Is an artist, or is is, is well, they are. A, are they? They absolutely are, but they're an illegal artist, don't they? They're they they're a vandal too, because they're they're vandalising people's property, but they're doing it with artwork. I mean, if if you want to look at the definition of art, you know, you go to art school, <clears throat> you'll learn about um, colour and line and form and the illusion of depth and perspective, and all of these things are, are aspects of graffiti art, and it actually is a very technical and brilliant art form, but it's um, executed at many different levels. Do you, so, 
what, what's, yeah. what's your view of what Yarra Council's doing? They seem to be giving up, effectively, if they go along this, this path and have graffiti tours and that sort of thing. Aren't they sort of, uh, uh, in fact, in a way, encouraging or acknowledging and just giving up on the vandalism? Well, that, I mean, once again, it's about perspective, but... Well, I, mean, I haven't got perspective yeah, if it's my wall. Yeah, well, it's more of a lateral um, approach at, at dealing with the situation. You see, a lot of people who do this, um, they... That, like, I, I've seen a lot of people who are into art and they, and they get into graffiti and they don't do any crime. And then you get criminals who, who aren't artists and they take up graffiti because it's an act of, of vandalism and that's how they want yeah. to be recognised. And so people... Are, I've, I've heard a lot of people asking about the solution for this. And the thing about it is, if you take away the rebellious nature of it, <clears throat> so if you completely accept the graffiti and the council was saying, we're going to give you spray cans and go and paint all the walls and all the trains, then anyone who's rebellious and who wants to be recognised as a criminal and who wants to disturb the, the public space visually, they're not going to be attracted to it because they're not going to be doing crime. They're going to be well, yeah, doing some but if very, you, very... If, if, if you do that, you're also going to increase the chances that my house gets vandalised or I'm sitting in a train that's covered with crap. Well, that depends. I mean, the people who are out there vandalising houses, if they're, if they're allowed to go and paint a wall um, legally all day and, and they go and do that, then they're going to go home and they've, they've had their, their fix for the day. Yeah. You know, they, they've... They've but, expressed themselves and gotten that urge out of them. Yeah, but as you say, though, if they're attracted by the illegal nature of it, they're going to paint the legal one all day and say, right, now I'll go out and, and do Neil's front fence. Maybe, but it's probably less likely. Okay. You know? I, I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's always going to happen, but if you take, if you take away the criminal aspect, if there's no resistance, then they're, they're not going to... The, ones who, the people who are actually trying to be rebellious and trying to, to make a point, they're going to be come to the surface more and the ones who are just artists who are interested in it are going to be led down a better path. And is it is it right to say that the best thing you can do if you want to take a stand against illegal graffiti is clean it off quickly? Um, yeah, I would say that. Yeah. Anything else we can do to stop the illegal stuff other than what you, you've discussed about legitimising it? Anything else? Um, not really. I mean, that that's... Yeah, I mean, as far as the solution goes... I think the more it's accepted, the more the people who, who want to cause a problem, that if they can't, if people say, oh, we really like this, then they're not going to be causing a problem. So they'll go and do something else and they will, they will you know, get in trouble mm. doing something else. So and, are, um, are, you, are, yeah. you, are you busy doing graffiti murals legally? Oh, very busy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And yeah what, for, what's, for what's the last it, year and a half. And what's it cost to do a, a wall outside, you know, a wall on a building? Um, House. Anywhere or? from... Anywhere from about eight hundred dollars upwards, I guess. Mm. Yeah. How, how many do you do a week? Um, depending on the size of the job, you know. Sometimes I'll spend a whole week doing one job, and sometimes I'll do two or three a week. All right. Thank you very much, Chuck Mayfield from Graffiti Mural. Just looking at his website, Office Walk.